The waterfall is basically a very tight loop that gives the appearance that the airplane is chasing its tail. It's a very fun maneuver to do and watch. It's also pretty easy and should be one of your first 3D maneuvers. To do a waterfall, enter a vertical position as if going into a hover or at the apex of a climb. Reduce the throttle to the point the airplane almost stalls and then quickly apply full elevator in either direction depending if you want it upright or inverted. Reduce the throttle while it's on the down line and increase the throttle as it's going back up again. Perfect throttle timing produces tighter waterfalls. If you delay the throttle too much, you'll have a not so tight waterfall. Once you get the timing, you'll be able to make ultra tight waterfalls that barely lose any altitude. Like most 3D maneuvers, Dan recommends that you practice it at a good height first. Once you know how the airplane behaves, it's very easy to do and it can be done very low to the ground. Be sure to use rudder as needed to keep the airplane tracking straight and you can do multiple waterfalls without losing much altitude. A great combination maneuver is to come in at a faster speed, do a wall, and then go immediately into a waterfall. From this you could transition into an elevator, a harrier, or come out in a rolling harrier. Again, the waterfall can be performed either upright or inverted, but you'll need to make sure you have at least 45 degrees of deflection on your elevator surfaces. And a pause in between waterfalls might require a little blip of throttle to keep the prop wash going over the wings. A lot of 3D airplanes won't be able to do good waterfalls in the upright position, but if you have an airplane like an Addiction X, XL, or the AMR, they do great upright or inverted waterfalls.